State's Department of Environmental Protection receiving numerous calls about orange colored pooling or bubbling water from the surface throughout the west side of the Wyoming Valley. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Lurie. The calls come after recent mine subsidences we've been following for days now. Fox 56's Taylor Whartonby is live near Wilkes-Barre's Kirby Park with reaction from people who've witnessed the bubbling water and response from the DEP. Taylor. Aaron and Ann, I talked to business owners and residents who are concerned about the events that are popping up within Luzerne County. I'm going to step out of the view so you can take a closer look at what's right here. This is right next to Kirby Park. And as you can see, the water is flowing. And right here is where pressure is coming up and it's bubbling. And this has an orange tinted color. In Edwardsville, an area back behind the former Kmart is the latest spot people have noticed. According to Bob Hughes with the Eastern Pennsylvania Coalition for Abandoned Mine Reclamation, he says this area is where Toby Creek drains along the other side of the concrete wall. Hughes also mentions this water could be unhealthy to drink, especially for pets, and has impacts on aquatic insects and fish to some degree. Some people in the area are concerned and say if the mines were taken care of in the first place when they closed, these issues wouldn't be occurring. It's frustrating. Honestly, it's tough to see, you know, because these are things that when they shut down the mines, they're supposed to take care of. They have inspectors that are supposed to go in and make sure situations like this don't happen. Albert Hackle, a resident of Jenkins Township, says he'll be looking into mine subsidence insurance and whether he would be approved for it. It's not like we've had a very rainy year. It's not like we've encountered something we haven't encountered before. It's just a lack of. Um, getting doing it right the first time, and now we're suffering for it here today. And for J.J. Neely, who lived in Luzerne County his whole life, he tells me it's scary. Nothing like this has really ever happened before, and it's just, I mean, yeah, it's just scary to think about what stuff coming out of the ground, and you don't know what's under there, really. Early today, a member of a Facebook group posted an opening that occurred at the intersection of High and Hazel Street in Wilkesbury. Although it's not confirmed if all the incidents are related, people are still concerned about the recent events. Uh, I thought it was a pothole, just because it is the season. And yeah, I didn't think much about it. The DEP released a statement stating that they are aware of the incidents and investigated them with on-site visits and has documented their occurrence. They say many of the incidents have occurred previously and been investigated through the years. And high water levels from underground mines occur after heavy precipitation, and that can lead to water runoff and pooling with water on the surface. The DEP says iron coming out of solution is what is causing the orange color. Reporting live, I'm Taylor Wortonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. Taylor, thanks. And an update on the mine subsidence at Toby Creek in the borough. First discovered 